Puppet Combo is now on the PlayStation Store and most of their games has a platinum trophy. Since the game just came out on the PlayStation, there are zero guides online on how to do certain collectibles, so I did have to look for everything myself, but we'll worry about that in a minute. There are difficulty trophies in the game, so I decided to play on the hardest one. On hard difficulty, the game adds bleeding, hunger, and thirst. So not only do you have to evade the killer, but you also need to keep an eye out for resources like food and water. And if you get hit, you'll need a bandage after escaping the killer or you'll die over time due to blood loss. It definitely makes the game a lot more interesting playing this way. The game starts us off as a random girl working at a gas station at night, and we basically just have to work our shift. Before clocking in, however, we're going to play this arcade cabinet called Power Drill Massacre for our trophy. And this game is no joke too. You only get three lives and once you're out of lives, it's back to the drawing board. But this is how it went for me. I wonder if the... Uh, the Leave, leave. No way. No way. Oh, that is that is cheese. That is absolute cheese. Is that a health pack? Ooh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Nice. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we got another life. Oh my gosh, these freaking mazes. What is that? What? What is that? Wait. Who is talking in my ear? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't do this, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's the exit. Come on. No. No, 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 no. I was stuck in the wall. Like, how do you how do you escape in this situation? You know? Nope. I play Elden Ring. I can beat this. Killer's lair. I don't like that. Yo, he's fast. Oh, I got an HP though. And a key. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. You suck. You suck, boy. All right, that's just, <laughs> that's just cheating. That's just cheating. That's just cheating. That's just cheating. I'm free. Let's go. Yep. Put me in this freaking truck. Where does this truck come from? How do I get to the truck? Get me, get me out of here. Let's go, Power Drill Massacre! Yeah! First trophy. But after that trophy, it was time to get the next one. For the next trophy, we need to pretty much clean the store up by putting items back on the shelves and sweeping the floors. Like what my boss used to tell me back in the day, if you have time to lean, you have time to clean. Something would happen later on, but as soon as we finish our shift, we would get a trophy. And like another... Oh, this man is scouting. This man is scouting. Oh, trophy. Good employee. He is literally making it though. You, you are. You are, sir. You are making the, the dough. What the fuck? There's a customer coming. Man, announce yourself. I didn't even hear anything. Like, no sound cue. I didn't hear, I didn't hear the door. This man is mad sus. Like, who? Whose afro just vibrates like that? <laughs> yeah, like you're the killer. Oh, man. Hi. You're here all alone. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, look. It keeps it cold. Wait, what? Ruby. We then wake up as the main protagonist of the game, Roxanne. After her boyfriend Brendan ended up being gone for a long time after using the restroom, we decided to go look for him. While looking for Brendan, we ended up encountering a dog. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, dog. I should name you. You look like a Jennings. I call you Jennings. Jennings? Eventually ending up in the most ominous looking house on planet Earth, Jennings ended up finding something in the house, only to get bear trapped. So obviously the smartest move is to unknowingly rush in there and help our little friend. And we get another trophy after this scene. Yeah, good boy. Don't fall. Yo, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, hi there! Oh, oh my sh Oh, 
don't freaking tell me that I just saw a a, a grandma in a wheelchair by the staircase. I didn't just see that. <laughs> After waking up in the cage, I had to escape. Since I'm still learning how to play the game on the hardest difficulty, my attempts didn't really last me that long, and this is what happened. Granny over just moving around with his electro with her. What the hell? Wait, can you see the light? What the f Hi. Oh god. Oh wow. Wow, you're fast. This man teleported in front of my face. He's like, what it Bro, I'm in the cage. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't even need to move me. I give up. <laughs> I concede. After exhausting our three lives, we do get a trophy for running out of time. I guess this is our ending. She said, oh no. Oh, trophy. Run out of time. In the vents, we can find a note that tells us the lock combination of the killer stash room, which will find the radar device that gives us another trophy. Heading up the stairs now, we find a hammer in one of the drawers. Obtaining our first weapon in the game, I ended up throwing away my run to get some sweet revenge. Huh? Like you- BAH! 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 Mother- Not grandma! Trophy. Granny got murdered. Got granny got murked, son. Mm, come on, come on, boy. You want you want a piece of me, boy? And after getting caught the second time, we accidentally get another trophy for staring into the TV for too long. There's a uh, Silent Hill 2 remake. There's Silent Hill F based on um, it's like based on like the medieval ages, I guess, in Japanese real times. So it's like old school. Trophy. After acquiring a gun, my confidence shot to the moon, and this would eventually get me another trophy for having the killer retreat for the time being. Oh, it only takes two shots. Trophy. Wait, 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 wait. I need to do the trophy thing. Throw that. Get it. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Also using the wire cutter we just got, disabling a security camera would get us another trophy. Progressing further in the game, I then stumble across a hidden vent entrance, which leads us to the baby's room, and the trophy. Trophy? It's alive. That freaking game, that gave me the goosebumps, dude. Not that far from this room is another room filled with bone art. There's a vent here which I went through to finally make my way outside for a trophy. What the fuck? Fresh air. Oh, we got a trophy. Outside, we'll find other people trapped in cages. After unlocking a cage for one of the victims, we get a trophy. Trophy. To the rescue, unlock a victim's cage. Eventually, the killer is going to kill and take one of the victims, and in doing so, gets us a trophy for getting a victim killed. Thank you. Here, take this. Help me out of here. I can't move you. I I'm not strong. Please. If I escape, I'll come back with help. What? The butcher killed the victim, how? Oh no. That's crazy, we got a trophy though. I did end up getting captured again, and to avoid the killer from confiscating all of our belongings, I normally just load up another save and start there again. But before doing so, I remembered that I needed to use the bear trap on the killer once for a trophy, so I did that. Can I get trapped though? I'm getting my trophy first. What the hell? Huh? Uh, I guess. <laughs> this man sidestep. 
<laughs> this man said, Doo -doo. Think I'm stupid? Not knowing where to go and what to do, I did notice a key behind the killer's pants. So I did the bold maneuver and swiped the key off of him. I was then able to unlock one of the basement doors, which then lets me fix the fuse box to bring power to the bunker door, getting us a trophy. Cake. Now how do we lock the bunker for good? I don't... After getting even more lost in the bunker and eventually meeting my demise underwater, I decided to finish the bunker area on another playthrough and not on the hardest difficulty. After definitely not watching a playthrough on how to escape the house, I needed to get three batteries to power up this electronic can opener. Inside said can is the key to the front door. With freedom in my grasp, I said screw the other survivors and zoomed out of there faster than me clocking out for work. And after the scene is played out, we'll get two trophies. Right? Like there's no shot, like look at all these girls. Don't look back. Just don't look back. Don't, I want to look back. Don't, I want to look. I ain't getting chased, bro. I ain't getting chased, bro. I'm just running forward. That's a dead end. Jump, jump, mother. Come on. Just run. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. He's in my ear. Just keep jumping. Bunny hopping. They don't know what to do with bunny hopping. This, this is an old game. Help me, please. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Hello. My boy said hello. It's freaking Afro man. With, with the freaking moving hair. He's gonna kill me. Do you want to come inside? Huh? What kind of response to that? Something's wrong. My stomach. Do you want to come inside? I'm sick. Help me. Look at his hair. It's still moving. What's wrong? Huh? Parasite. Oh. We have something inside our system. Complete the game on hard. Let's go. That's two trophies. That's crazy. Where's my where's my two other trophies though? That's the wildest thing. That is the wildest part. <laughs> it didn't unlock the normal and easy trophies. That's crazy. The difficulty trophies did bug out on me and it ended up not stacking. So now I have to finish the game again on normal and easy difficulties respectively. Now I have to fully explore the bunker and get the rest of the endings for the game. I did end up shooting a doorknob in this section for a trophy. Shoot this freaking... Trophy! Shortcut. Whoa. How did you even get down here? Leave me alone. What the heck? Why are you so fast, though? This man is fast as hell! Bro! Come on! Are, are you like the track team when you were in high school? What the heck? Also accidentally getting the rebirth ending by just going down this tunnel. What the hell? So there's aliens in this game. That's what you're telling me. Some demon aliens in this game. Trophy. Rebirth. What the hell? The last ending I needed to get now is to escape the bunker. And to do that, I needed to blow up the bunker by putting in the deactivation codes to melt the reactor core and kill that alien thing living here. I end up in the parking area only to find the only exit blocked and a bootleg Dr. Salvador showing up to trim us down a couple inches. The goal here is to take off the planks from the door one by one. Unfortunately, I found this out a little too late and I ended up dying. Second try was a little smoother though and I managed to get through the door and escape in the bunker for two tries. Trophies.
I still die? Oh, no. I think I'm alive. Kind of alien race. Whoa. I don't want to go in there yet. The heck? You must be out of your dang mind. Alright, I guess that's the only way I can go. You know what? Take me. The end. Escape the bunker. Medium? There we go. Two trophies. That was, uh, that was weird, to say the least. With it, all that, just to be even more confused on what the hell just freaking happened, dude. What do you, what, what just happened? Did we just, like, give birth to alien stuff and then it just took over the world or something? What, what even is the demon? Like, what are we talking about here? What are these dudes smoking when they, when they wrote the script? I don't understand. <laughs> Killer mother. That was perfect. Now we're talking about a whole alien colony here or something or demons. I don't know. What are they? Satan? Is it Satan or ET game? I'm not sure. Now it's time to clean up on some miscellaneous trophies as well as finishing the game on easy difficulty. First, we needed to bring a survivor in our little safe area in the house for a trophy. We also need to kill a victim for another trophy. Up. Kill. Up. Are you sure? Yes. I'm um, okay. I guess. Trophy? Now I'm going to destroy every TV in the game for a trophy. But I guess it bugged out because only after a couple of TVs were destroyed, the trophy already popped. Oh, trophy. That's the CFV. Destroy every TV. Does not include room TVs. What? I mean, cool. I guess. And finishing the game once again on easy gets us another trophy. The next trophy we need is to find all the documents in the game. Since this game came out 4 days before this stream, there were no guides at all for it online. So this trophy probably took me the longest to get. You done messed up. That's insane. Unbelievable. Alright. Note. Bam. Done. Note. Bam. 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 How many notes do you have in here, boy? Bam. Yes, let's go! Let's freaking go! Oh, yeah! <laughs> for the next trophy, I needed to find three pieces of camera parts to unlock photo mode. Now, for this one, I absolutely could not find the last piece for the life of me. I do remember collecting two pieces on my first playthrough, but the last piece was absolutely driving me insane. As seconds turned into minutes and minutes slowly turning into hours, my desperation grew. There were absolutely no videos about it and no guides for it as well. So I did the only possible solution I could think of and that's to contact the only two people on PSN profiles at the time that already had the plan. I didn't have much faith in them replying until this one person ended up messaging me back and this is what happened. I will help you if you help me with some trophies on the trophies on the game for forever. Huh? What are you talking about? You already have the plan. How am I supposed to help you then? What? I don't. I am so confused. If you already have it, you know what to do. Is he asking me to get the platform? This man said share play. Good sir. Come on. I'm just missing one piece. <laughs> I'll help him. I guess. Downstairs basement in your attic. Like, this man just wants the numbers. Like, what's the point even? Like, eventually you're gonna get tired of it. All of all of these freaking platinums and trophies that you got is legitimately, like, just meaningless at this point. If it's not you who did them. Oh, there it is. Let's freaking go. Thank you, sir. All right, now we're blocking him for. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Swapping platinum trophies for concrete shoes, bro. Appreciate you for making this for making this video happen. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to um partake in said bargain. You know what I'm saying? Out of you.
my boy. And with that treachery out of the way, for the last trophy to get the platinum, we just needed to scare off a customer, and the platinum trophy was ours. Is there a problem? Trophy, let's go! Bad customer service and tape master. Let's get it. I can't express enough on how happy I am that Puppet Combo started releasing their games on modern consoles, and including a shiny platinum trophy at that. So I want to give Stay Out of the House a 7 out of 10. It was really entertaining to play, even with all the bugs in the game, I managed to have a blast playing this game. Story could use some work personally, because I think having a killer and his grandma is scary enough, but just adding an alien and scientist in labs underneath a bunker kinda snuffed that classic horror feel I had. But it's still one of the better horror games that I've played in a while. As for the Platinum Trophy, I want to give it a 6.5 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. The score can be lowered tremendously if you're using a guide, but if you're planning on getting the Platinum without a single guide holding your hand, then this game can be pretty hard at times. But even then, I feel like enough trial and error, it becomes easier afterwards. And with that being said, thank you all for reaching it this far and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, thank you for all the love and support. And if you want to watch me live, I do stream everything I play on Twitch. Stop by and say hi. And with that being said, said, I hope everyone has a phenomenal day.